welcome back to the Oni's Eye, a division of the Colot Information Network. I am your host, Yuritomo Raiden, and this is episode 11, Dawn of a New Age. So, several days ago, uh, we had an image um, posted from a French convention, in which I will not uh, attempt to um, replicate the name. Um, yeah, it was uh, one of the an international game festival. This was this image that you see on screen um, was posted on several sites, including Facebook, Facebook, and Reddit. Um, and this is really the first public image that we have seen um, that what that is an official image. Yes, that's correct. This is an official image that was given to Asmati by Fantasy Flight Games. You'll notice um, within the document, you'll see a new font that they're using for the Legend of the Five Rings. It's sort of a, a brush script style font. Uh, it still keeps the Five Rings uh, although they're done slightly different uh, to match the old clan mons. Um, you'll notice in the image there are six uh, pieces of artwork around um, around the item. Now these pieces of artwork were not used in the old Legend of the Five Rings game, the classic game if you will um, and as a playtester by under AEG I do not remember these six images in any of the Onyx uh, unreleased Onyx items so these look to be six all new images for the game now obviously the clan mons um, in the middle of the screen these have changed. Um, we don't know yet if these are a um, going to be the actual clan mons going forward, or if these are just some, one artist's interpretation for this particular advertisement poster, whatever it might be. What we do notice is there is exactly seven factions on it. Uh, crane and crab for some reason have been inverted. Crab alphabetically comes first and then crane. Dragon, lion, phoenix, scorpion, unicorn. Um, with only those seven clan mons, the, it, within the history of the empire that we know, um, there are only two time frames that they could possibly be going. The first one is Dawn of the Empire when the Kami fell from the heavens. These were the seven, seven clans battling against the Shadowlands. The next time that these seven clans are visible uh, together with no other factions is just before the Scorpion Clan coup. A third possibility has been put out there that it could be a post Onyx edition uh, history where the spider had been disbanded and the mantis aren't at full strength yet to return. These are really the only three possible timelines they could be using if they are keeping the current history of the Empire. Um, the date is August 2017, uh, which is, um, you know, Gen Con, that's what we understand. Um, now, over the weekend, uh, Steve Horvath uh, posted a tweet about participating in the beta today. 
Um, of course, he's happy with it. Um, I would be shocked if he wasn't. Um, this, as many of you know, Steve was the the main person in Fantasy Flight Games who wanted to pursue the Legend of the Five Rings brand. Um, and Steve is a former player and top four competitor at the most famous Legend of the Five Rings tournament, the second day of Thunder. Um, there's a lot of comments and questions where folks try to pull information from them. Um, he does confirm that the, the crane, the dragon, the unicorn are uh, in the game that each of them are are very flavorful and that's about all the information he goes into now some some people uh, as you know notoriously L5R players are um, the online community can be kind of toxic at times some people have questioned why he hasn't been involved before <clears throat> um, we don't know that he hasn't been involved before. What I can, what I can say is the reason he probably played a beta at this stage um, is because Gamma, uh, the Gamma Trade Show, is this week in Las Vegas. Um, and... As a matter of fact, uh, Fantasy Flight Games is scheduled on Wednesday, March the 15th, at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, and it will include Legend of the Five Rings. Now, they have a 45-minute session, and they have um, uh, several games here. Uh, one, two... Four, five, so they, they got several games to talk about here. Um, obviously, um, the one we're worried about is the Legend of the Five Rings LCG, um, and this is the first major speaking engagement where they're going to be talking about the product. Now, this is going to be streamed on both YouTube and on Twitch. And I will state that the uh, uh, my agents will be available to um, dissect any information that is disseminated through this process. Now, one last thing that I want to go over uh, before I go is all of the... Um, the online community bashing that's been going on. No matter what the game turns out to be, there are many people who are not going, there are going to be some people that are going to hate it, and there are some people who are going to love it. Now, I typically do not side with Mark Rosewater. Um, uh, of uh, Magic the Gathering fame but if a design doesn't evoke an emotional response on one end of the spectrum or another then the designers haven't done their job some people are going to love it some people are going to hate it we knew that when the game changed hands there was going to be major changes. There are very few of the po there's very few of the people of the population that has seen this, and the only ones that have have either signed uh, uh, have signed a non disclosure agreement or have signed a non disclosure agreement and quit.
unfortunately, this is the nature of any game. My suggestion to all people, all players, all folks who are interested in the world and the game and the history, while I enjoyed the previous game, I'm expecting this new version to be different. It may not be to your liking, but all the speculating on what this does, you know, how are they going to change this? How are they going to change that? We don't know until they put it out there. Yes, some people have attempted to post leaks. Now, Fantasy Flight Games is much much uh, more punishing on leaks than AEG was. Um, so, if you're someone who is out there trying to leak information, don't. It's not worth it. Yes, I have my sources. But then again, the Colot always has his sources. So I'll be back next week to talk about what was spoiled um, during Gamma, uh, the first official information. Uh, until next time, this is Master Silk signing off. There is no escape from the Titan.